What's happening people? It's Perry. What's up? Uh, this is the q and I was supposed to do in Lisbon, which I never did because I was having too much crack. But, um, not crack, literally, just like, it's an Irish slang. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I have all your questions here on my phone. I'm going to answer them. I'm going to answer all the, all the questions that were asked. So, if you ask a question, you're going to be in the video. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to join the squad, hit the, hit the bell and subscribe. And yeah, hit the intro music and we'll get right into it. So the first few que first few questions asked were from uh, Mankin BMX 2003, and the first one was how long you've been riding for. Um, I've been riding since 2010, so eight years I'd say. It will be eight years in um, in August. I got my first bike in August. Um, I remember I like I went on holidays with my parents, and uh, I get like pocket money when I was going away, but I'd like save all of it so I could buy my first bike. It was a stolen sinner, um, and I fucking loved it. It glowed in the dark and everything. It was lit. Um, how did I start riding? Um, I used to dirt jump and skateboard and I used to play football a lot and um, basically when I was playing football I got so sick of it like I was like oh I don't want to do what everybody else is doing so I got a dirt jumper which is like you know the mountain bikes and I started doing dirt jumping but then I was like the dirt jumper was too big and uh, one of my mates wanted to BMX so I bought a bike and we started BMXing I started going to the skate park made some friends it was good, it was good buzz and um, my favourite trick my favourite trick I really love nah my favourite trick is a feeble hard and you can tell by all my all my videos, um, if the sun's getting too bright, whatever, it'll be all right. Um, yeah, the feeble heart 180. Um, I just think it's the easiest trick to do for me now. Like I remember, I had such a tough time learning that trick that um, I was just so hyped when I learned it. I just wanted to get it dialed. I wanted to get it every time. So now it's the only trick I could not ride for 20 years. And I'd say I could do a feeble hard like first go if you asked me to. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite trick. I actually do. I do love a bar spin. I'm I'm very keen for a bar spin, but they can hurt and. Uh, if you do it wrong, you get really fucked up. But you do you feel hard wrong, it's alright, like. Um best trick slash clip I ever done. Huh. Well the scariest thing I did was uh was the Mac with three block in Barcelona, which was quite scary. It's probably the biggest thing I've ever three sixty'd. Uh, so that's probably the scariest. I don't know if that's the hardest because it only took me like one go. Um long what hardest clip hardest line I ever did. I ever uh, it's, it's hard to kind of like categorize hardest tricks because I don't know. Um, the hardest line I ever did that took me like two hours was um, I did a hop whip and then I did a crank flip and then I hopped onto this ledge at a 180 bar off. That took me like two hours. Um, in terms of like difficult difficulty, I did a hop truck before. I don't have it on video, but I did it before at the skate park. Um, I was I was keen for a down whip back in the, like a down whip on banks. Like as you go up straight on a bank and do a down whip like a down whip air. I was doing them back in the day, that was pretty hard, I've only ever done a few of them, so... Yeah, so probably the Mac 360 or the a down whip, probably. Uh, other tricks, that line took me ages, but other than that, like, that was, they're probably the hardest ones. Uh, Flabby Doodle. Flabby Doodle. <laughs> he asked, what bike brand do I have? Um, I have a mishmash of everything, but currently my frame is a BSD ALVX frame. It's Alex Donaghy's signature frame. Uh, my body's kind of built up with like miscellaneous parts. If I ever broke a part, I just like, replace it. So basically, I bought my complete bike with my stolen center, and I just kept switching out parts as I went. Like, um, I can probably do. I'll do a bike check eventually if you guys want to see that, because I can't. I'm not going to be naming off every every bike part I have. Basically, the main components is I'd say for the frame bars and forks, I have with people forks, uh, federal bars, and I have an, a BSD frame. If they're like the main things. And then I have like animal wheels. But I'll do a bike check if you ever want to see one. Just let me know in the comments. Um, the YouTube comment of the day. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 21 years old. Thanks for asking. I'm dreading turning 22. But my birthday's in September. And I'll be feeling 22 as if as Taylor Swift says. Uh, Pro Mods asked. What beats do you use? And are they copyright free? Um, I don't know if they're copyright free. I kind of use like a loophole. Like. My intro is like XXS Tentacion, uh, RIP the boy. Um, but I only use like 15 seconds of it, and it's like an old song that he didn't like copyright, so I'm kind of getting away with it in that regard, I suppose. Uh, the like the background music is just literally instrumentals made, but it's like fe it's big instrumentals. Say like I use um, one of them I use is an ASAP Rocky song, which has like a real good instrumental. It just came out as an album, 
but I, I used like a recreation that someone else made on YouTube and I just put it in so it doesn't get copyrighted because it's not the exact um, you know beat that they used so that's how I get around copyright maybe if I ever get bitter I'm going to have to stop doing that because it's a bit of a sketchy thing to be doing but it works for me now so I just do it um, who's next Crazy Cow asked me what camera do I use uh, at the moment I'm using a Canon uh, 600D It's I think it's the the American version if you're American I think it's a T4i um, but in Europe they call it a 600D uh, I'm just using I'm using like a it's not the standard lens it's 18 to 55 but it's like a it's got a I don't know I'm not too big on my lenses but like, it's a different kind of style like it makes the, everything look way more artsy and stuff like that so uh, that's the lens I'm using it's 18 to 55 and if I'm filming BMX I have a, a Rockinon 8mm fisheye and I have the standard 18 to 55 that came with the camera which is like really like shitty um, I'm thinking about getting a Sigma or a Canon L lens soon like I'm gonna invest a lot of money though, like they're 600 quid though, so it's you know it's gonna be a big investment. But I think I'm gonna get a Sigma uh, 18 to 35 mil uh, f 1.8 soon, I'd imagine, or a Canon L lens. I'm not too sure yet though. Uh, he asked, Crazy Cow asked again, what program do I use to edit slash record? And um, to record gameplay, I just use Shadow Play by Nvidia. Um, it came with my, it's like a driver I got with my um, graphics card. And then to edit, I use Sony Vegas. I'm thinking about switching to Premiere soon because a lot of people say Premiere is like way better. But um, yeah, I use Sony Vegas. That's been what I've been using since I started editing. It's the easiest one to get used to, and you know, I don't know. It's just what I use. A lot of people say it's like the the MLG trick shotter kind of. So it's like no one really likes to use it anymore because it's got a bad rep now. But whatever, I use it. It's good. Um, <laughs> my friend Arthur Skinner said Yanni or Laurel. Um, neither. It said I only hear Arthur because my bay. So. I love you, I love you, man. <laughs> uh, Pro Mods again asked me, how old was I when I started BMXing? How old you? How old was I when I started gaming? Uh, I started BMXing, I think I was I was 13, but I was going to turn uh, 14, like, a month later. So, yeah, I started BMXing to start August, and I was going to turn 14 in September. Um, how old was I when I started gaming? I don't know, man. Since I came out the womb, like, I remember I had, like, a Nintendo 64. Like, I had, like, a WWF No Mercy, and... Mario and all that jazz. Then I got hooked on PS1. Like, all my favorite games are on PS1, PS2. So I've always been a PlayStation guy since the start. So, like, I've never had an Xbox. I've only ever had PlayStation. And, like, now a PC. But, uh, yeah, so I've just been gaming since, probably since I was, like, three or four, to be honest. I'd imagine. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Kenzie Hayes asks, favorite bike brand and rider? Um bike brand I don't really have one man you can't really go wrong with any bike any bike brand today uh, just Mafia and all them YouTube brands kind of stick away from them because they're fucking I don't know they're just like not supporting the scene and you don't want to be joining in on stuff so sorry if you like Ryan Taylor and Harry May but they're just not supporting riding so I don't support them um, I'd say like any brand so like I'd say I have a BSD frame so BSD Fiend I've had a Fiend frame I've had a Fly frame I've had a uh, what else have I had you can get a cult frame, like a federal. There's like so many, there's so many brands. Like there's like you can't go wrong with any brand these days. I think every bike is like these days is made so well, and they're all trying to compete for such a small margin of the market. It's just so difficult. So it's kind of hard to find something that breaks on you, apart from like the YouTube brands because like they're getting their stuff cheaply made and like you don't want to be going to get a cheap bike. So I'd say if you're gonna buy your first bike, go to a bike shop, your local bike shop. They don't have the bike you want. Ask them to order it in. Helps you out. Don't go direct and buy Harry Mayne's fucking shitty bike. Your question, dude. I forgot to ask. Uh, forgot to answer. Sorry. Uh, my favorite rider is probably uh, Gat Reynolds. It's a bit of a generic answer, but um, he's the best. He does everything way before everybody else, and he's just ahead of light years of everybody else. Uh, at the mo one of my favorite riders at the moment is uh, Jordan Goblin. I have the dude on my wall. I'll try get it. Try get it. He's up there doing a dual peg hard five. But yeah, he's one of my favorite riders at the moment, and uh, you know all the usuals: Dakota Road, Nathan Williams. Um, who else is sick? I actually really liked Scotty Cramer when I was younger. He was one of the guys that got me into riding. So it's funny to see now that he's on YouTube all the time. But I used to watch him when he was like shredding parks and stuff. But yeah, back to the normal camera. Marcus Thornton Allen asks, do I get any do I get any revenue off my vids because I put a lot of effort into them? Also, can you make your vids longer? Don't worry about sh showing stuff, just session. Um, yeah. Like, I, no, I don't, no, what I mean, I don't make any rev revenue off any of my videos, um, 
literally there just like uh, are you back in the day you could literally just start a YouTube channel and start getting money off it but now you have to have like a thousand subscribers I think it's like 44 thousand hours watch time or something like that some mad like that uh, I'm not too worried about making money off it I'm just trying to have fun and record stuff I've always wanted to start recording stuff so I always I just started it off um, and could I make the vids longer just session about uh, see like I, wa I want to stream but like I have a DSLR and it kind of the, the the recording of it cuts off so like it, it's kind of hard to do that if I ever get a webcam maybe I'll start streaming and do that stuff but I don't know man I just don't really like I get what you mean like I like watching videos that are like half an hour long with someone just trying to do something but a lot of like I'm trying to grow the channel I don't think putting up 30 minute videos of me trying like weird tricks on BMX streets uh, would be helpful to anybody <laughs> so thanks for your question and thanks for saying I put a lot of effort to them because I do thanks very much um, Andrew Oxley, do I ride BMX in real life? Yes, I do. Uh, you can see some of my edits that I put up. I put up the two of my most recent edits on the channel uh, a video or two back. Uh, cricket Crick. <laughs> I see you said that you. Uh, I see you said you have said that you used to skateboard. And I see the Thrasher hoodie. <laughs> does your skateboarding, does skateboarding have any influence on your riding slash style? Uh, riding maybe because I'm really I like I like doing lines. I never I was never one of for a, tr a one trick man. I always kind of like to do lines. That's why I, I think I got really burnt out on filming videos because all I ever wanted to do was lines and like kind of technical stuff that would take me hours. And I just like I'm just never bothered to do it anymore because I don't have time. So now if I was filming an edit, I'd probably just do one bangers and just get it over with. But uh, yeah, I'd turn to skateboard. No, I, I watch a lot of like technical street riders. So like the people who would just kind of like flow around manual lines, uh, you know, the odd like ledge line on, on skateboarding. Um, so yeah, I'd say that's that uh, that kind of that way it probably would influence my riding like the way skateboarders have they go on lines they're always doing lines they're not like doing one trick and then finishing off unless you're like jaws or something um my style wise i th i just think as i was saying like a skateboard and their apparel and their whatever their clothing it's just so far ahead of bmx and anything else they're like i don't know i just like prefer to like wear better quality clothing like a lot of the bmx brands they just like put they just put their logo on like a gildan t-shirt and it's kind of like yeah it's cool to support the brand but as in, at the same time i want to be wearing something that's high quality so i kind of get shit for i wear a lot of adidas skateboarding shoes i wear like nike sb skateboarding shoes i wear nike sb hoodies i wear thrasher hoodies i like primitive skateboard and i like um who else who else or what else what other brands would have primitive plan b all that jazz so just the clothing is just a lot nicer to me. I don't know. It's just just the way I wear the clothes. So I'd say in that sense, yeah, I, I do prefer the clothing. The, there a lot of people are making really good BMX clothing there. So like, um, who was a Federal are pretty good at making uh, soft goods and all that stuff. And Colt are pretty good. But I've seen Colt they have like a lot of Gildan T-shirts. They're getting better at it now. So give them props for that. Uh, Ryan Crookshank. Sorry if I messed up your name, but uh, what's my favorite album of 2018? Um, album wise I don't really listen to albums like I do like I'll, if someone I really like brings out an album like X's newest album question the question mark one it was it was okay like I liked a few of the songs like I'm not really into all his emo kind of crying like I don't know like depression rap which it was cool it's cool like it's different I like I really like it he's one of like my favorite artists like R.I.P. him it's I'm devastated about that shit man he's quality but I was more into his like more heavy kind of aggressive rap songs and a lot of that's like in his old music, so I don't really listen to like. Well, I, I listened to his albums; it was okay. But question mark was better. It was better than Seventeen anyway. I didn't really like Seventeen. That was a, that was very depressing for me. <laughs> um, question the question mark was pretty good. Um, who else? Who else's album? What's came out this year? Like, I don't even know. Like a, a guy called Hooligan Chase. His new album came out this year. It wasn't an album? It was like a mixtape, but that was pretty good. I'm really into Hooligan Chase. He's like, watch out for him. If he'll be big in a year or two. Look and chase, look him up. I'll leave. I'll have one of his songs pop up on the screen now. Hey, y'all, you sluts up there. Cold boy, make the sky fall. And a freeze, I'm sipping propylene glycol. I'm never soft, just like the logo with the eyeball. You can have your bitch, I heard the pussy drywall. I call out the crib as a baby boy. Other than that, I don't know. I really liked Pusha T's um, album that just came out. But, like, at the same time, like, they're short albums. Like, I don't know. A lot of the albums there are like really long and like they don't really have any 
like me I don't know like I'm not really looking for meaning I'm just kind of like, looking for songs to put in my own playlist you know what I mean like I like a mismatch of songs uh, Post Malone's Beer Wongs and Bentley's is quite good actually it grew on me I, I really didn't like it at the start well not like I didn't I did like it but I, I thought uh, Stoney was a bit better but now now Beer Wongs and Bentley's a lot better to me hopefully the answers are correct actually wait I'll, I'll do a tangent like what I listen to is um I listen to everything now man so like I listen to rap I listen to rock I really like Skylord actually he's really good he's kind of like Similar to X, but he's a bit screamo if you're not really into like aggressive stuff or not Six Nines actually, his uh, mixtape was, was good, I really like that. But yeah, I listen to a lot of rap, listen to a lot of, I listen to a, really, a lot of like heavy metal rap, like rock and stuff like that. Because I grew up listening to rock music and then I kind of like went into rap and stuff, so that's it. Um, hopefully that answers your question. If it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, favorite street spot? Um, if you're from Ireland, I'll, I'll name one from Ireland, I'll name one from Barcelona. Like anywhere in Barcelona is my favorite street spot. To be honest, um, that's like my favorite place in the world. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live there one day. Um, I'd say in Ireland, if you're familiar with UCD, I'll put the spot in now. It's a, it's called, it's in UCD. It's a University College of Dublin, and it's like, le it's a, the science building ledges, and it's basically like ledges every which way, a curved ledge in between, a flat bottom, and it's lit up at night, and you never get kicked out of it. So I'll put a clip in of it there. Uh, in terms of my favorite spot in Barcelona, um. There was this metal ledge that we rode in my last edit, and it, like it was like the best ledge I've ever ridden in my life. And like I would, I would literally sit, sit there all day and just play on the ledge. It was so much fun. Uh, I'll put a clip in at both of them places in a sec. Um, Tim Jacobs, what got me into BMX and what's my worst injury? Uh, as I said, like I was sick of playing football. I got a dirt jumper. I uh, wasn't really into like jumping big dirt jumps on a dirt jumper when I was young. So I got a BMX so I could fuck around at the skate park, and. Uh, me and my friends just got into it, and we, we still do it today, so, sick. Worst injury, um, it's between splitting my head open on a kinker in, in one of my edits, on a kink rail, or breaking my ankle and dislocating it. Um, see, in terms of, like, the scariness of it, like, when I split my head open, that was super scary, because they told me I might have a blood clot, like, I was in a neck brace, and they were giving me MRIs, like, straight away and stuff, and they said that I might have a blood clot, and I'll probably have to stay overnight and stuff. But then eventually that just kind of amounted to nothing and just, I was fine, like, it, I had a headache but I was fine within like two days. Just had to deal with like a big gash in my head for like a week or two. So I'd say my worst injury is pretty like, I dislocated and broke my left an my left ankle. So I broke two bones and I dislocated it. It was like the worst feeling ever, man. Like I remember I was getting pumped up with morphine and like laughing gas and I just didn't know where I was, man. My ankle was upside down and uh... You're, usually they relocate your ankle like back at the spot where you fell but they're like well that's kind of upside down so we're gonna have to bring you back and like give you st uh, surgery straight away so i got back brought me an ambulance to the hospital i was drifted on morphine like i'm terrified of needles and i said to them straight away i was like don't put a needle in my arm because i'll punch you and they're like we already have a needle in your arm and we're pumping you a morphine and i was like all right <laughs> so, so like i was just so, so much shocked i just couldn't feel anything like it was like the worst pain, like I had the worst pain for like five minutes and then it went away because of the shock so I was just laughing at people, kind of laughing, making jokes myself and then uh, the pain came back and then I, I woke up in hospital, they put me to sleep and then they relocated, I had pins, I don't know, I was supposed to get pins and stuff but they, they, I came back like a week later and like you don't need pins, but I still feel that injury today, it's now, it's not gone away, like it's, yeah, I feel it every time I ride a bike, which is well, why I'm just so broken up with my bike, every time I get injured now it's just a bitch, because like it just doesn't heal properly, so yeah, breaking my ankle is probably the worst. Um, he asked, actually, asked me another question. Tim Jacobs again said, Also, what's up with your nose? Haha, <laughs> lol. Um, I get this a lot. Like, basically, the short answer is, I have narrow, like, nostrils on the inside of my nose, which is fine if you're... It shouldn't make a difference, but I'm literally allergic to everything. So, like, you can hear it in my thing now. I have, like, super bad hay fever. I have, like, I'm allergic to dust. I'm allergic to cats. So, like, if I ever have, like, a slight allergy reaction to something in the room, it just comes on like crazy because I have such, like, narrow nostrils, if that makes any sense to you. Like, I don't know. I've just gotten used to it over years. So, like, if I have, like, a cold and, like, I'm not cold. Like, if I have a blocked nose, it's just, like, it's just what I'm used to. Like, I, I, I can't remember what it's like to not have a blocked nose. <laughs> um, but, yeah, a lot of people have just been saying that I look, I like, am I on coke and shit? No, I'm just, I'm not on coke. <laughs> I'm just allergic to everything, so, um yeah that's basically what it is so if you ever seen with a block nose i'm not on coke <laughs> yeah and that's basically it that's all the questions um it's been super fun answering these questions 
I really appreciate the comments. Um, I might do this again. If you ever, if you want me to do another one, let me know. If you want me to do a bike check, actually, let me know. I'll do that. Um, I really want to get back into filming BMX and like doing like real life stuff. I hope you guys like want to see stuff like that because I put up my my edits and stuff, and I got uh, people were really encouraging me to like start riding properly again, and uh, I want to do it. So uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you like my content, give me a subscribe, hit the bell, join the notification squad, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.